Good morning, teachers and students. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Moss News. I'm Daniel Fernandez. And I'm Elia Alemán. We're halfway through the month of December and the stories are piling up like snow, if we had any, that is. It's a very busy time for us here at Moss and we're here to cover it all. You're absolutely right, Ellie. Let's see what we have in store for you today. First up, our team of broadcasters got a festive treat when they attended our annual Christmas. Then we have a special feature on the new English teacher, Ms. Gutierrez. And to end our show, a look at how the residents of Miami celebrate the holidays in the 305. and a special appearance from Santa Claus were all present at last Saturday's annual Christmas. An exciting event for all, Christmas had so many fun activities that it was almost hard to keep up with them all. Luckily, our Moss correspondents were able to capture the event's highlights. Everybody who attends Miami Art Studio knows that there's never a day that passes by without an amazing event occurring. The latest function that took place last weekend was the second annual Christmas and More Holiday Galore. This Christmas bash had food trucks, games presented by different clubs, and a holiday maze with so much more. Um, we had to do a lot of things in a very short amount of time. Like we had to move the tables in the cafeteria, we had to make the tree, we had to decorate, we had to wrap the, the boxes. And on top of that, this year we had a new maze, which we had to do. Um, the day of Christmas and more, but it was actually like amazing this year and it was nice to see all the little kids happy with Santa and all the different booths and the candy canes. Welcome to Christmas! The turnout for NBC's booth was amazing. We were able to provide the kids with glitter sticks and they were able to use that to decorate their own stockings and I think it was really memorable for them because they were able to add that to their home, use it as decor, as their Christmas tree, and it was just amazing. Having our second annual Christmas and More Holiday Galore event being wrapped up and stored into the books, we can definitely say that this event was a success. If you didn't have a chance to come to this year's, don't worry, there's always next year. My name's Rebecca Lalama, signing out. Hey Danny, have you ever noticed that our Moss family continues to grow with each year that passes? I have, Ellie, and this year we welcome a new member to our Moss family, Miss Gutierrez, an English teacher who also happens to be the head of the National English Honor Society. We now go to Isabel Grainer with more on the story. With the many teachers and staff at our school, students may not have noticed the new addition to our Moss family for this school year. Ms. Gutierrez is a new language arts teacher who has been adapting and transitioning into a new school environment. My name is Melissa Gutierrez and I am a 6th and 8th grade English language arts teacher and I'm also the National English Honor Society sponsor. I am very comfortable transitioning to different schools and meeting new students as well as teachers. Ms. Gutierrez enjoys the energetic nature of math students and the positive, family-oriented culture of our school. Um, I love the students' energy. The students are really eager and focused to learn, which is really nice. I want them to learn and be prepared for high school and my sixth graders to learn for the next grade. I want them to be well-rounded people that are really kind to one another. With her hard work, Ms. Gutierrez is sure to leave a lasting impact on the Mass community. For Mass News, this has been Isabel Greiner. December is that time of year to follow a set of established traditions. The tree, stockings, and all of the delicious foods are a staple of the Christmas season. But Miami has its very own way of celebrating this holiday. Let's head on over to Maria Borges to see what Christmas is really like in the 305. With the holiday season here, many of us have already started to celebrate in our own different ways. Whether it be lighting a menorah or lighting a Christmas tree, us Miamians are very excited to celebrate the holidays. 
However, us members of the Sunshine State have to celebrate a little differently than our neighbors up north. In states like Minnesota and Montana, residents can expect to see up to 40 inches of snow and temperatures dropping as low as 20 degrees, which is a big difference compared to our scorching Miami weather. Our average temperature in Miami during the winter is a whopping 76 degrees and you guessed it, Miami sees zero inches of snow. We did a poll on our Moss News Instagram asking viewers if they thought snow was necessary to make it feel like the holidays. And to our surprise, 115 people said yes, while only 10 people said no. For years, it has been considered traditional for Hispanics to gather and roast a pig on Christmas Eve, or as we call it, Noche Buena, which is a night where friends and family gather to enjoy each other's company. But Christmas is much different beyond Hispanic communities, with Americans traditionally eating ham, mashed potatoes, and green beans, and ending off the night with the chanting of jolly Christmas carols. Even though we might celebrate Christmas a little differently, the one thing that stays the same is our love for the holidays. I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait. This has been Maria Borges, signing off. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Mass News. We appreciate the support that you guys give us each and every single week. As always, I'm Meli Alemán. And I'm Daniel Fernandez, signing off. Don't forget to follow our Mass Instagram, YouTube channel, and Twitter. Hey everybody, thank you for watching this week's episode of Mass News High School Edition. But the fun's not over yet. Make sure to tune in every Monday morning to IGTV at Mass News HS for the episodes of the Mass lineup. I'm Mira Rodriguez signing out.